This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. Hi, my name is Milton Valencia, and I'm a Metro reporter with the Boston Globe. We were out in Weston covering the fatal stabbing of an 18-year-old man at Regis College in Weston, an affluent suburb about 12 miles west of Boston. The incident remains under investigation, but what we do know is 18-year-old Elhaji Nadi and a 22-year-old friend, both from Waltham, were stabbed sometime around 3.30, 4.30 this morning on the school campus. The two men are not students at the college, but police are investigating any affiliations they may have with people there. They apparently were doing was going to a party uh, sometime the night before. El Haji told his parents that he was going to go to a party, and his friends told the parents that they were at a party when the incident occurred. We do know from students that there is a school-sponsored dance uh, on the campus, uh, student union, uh, that runs from the night before into the early morning hours, about 2 a.m. Uh, it's a party, a dance party. There's a DJ. Alcoholic drinks are served if you can furnish an ID. Um, and, and apparently, you know, the, the party may have spilled over into some type of, of other scene. We don't know if that's in the parking lot or the dormitory. Uh, we do know the stabbing occurred in the parking lot. So the, the student, you know, community is, is really shocked there. They're hearing about the news this morning, um, you know, from parents who are calling them to make sure everything's okay. Uh, administrators did meet with hundreds of students this morning to, to, to let them know that uh, security patrols would be in dormitories, would be checking on them, and if they needed any grief counselors, grief counselors were available as well. Uh, administrators sought to, uh, to stress that the, the incident was isolated. While, uh, while they're investigating any affiliations, it, 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 it's apparent that the, the attacker knew his victims and, and vice versa. You know, this is a heartbreaking case. A, a man from Senegal comes here 15 years ago to start a new life for his family, brings his son and his wife here about five years ago, uh, really for that better education, for that uh, American dream, so be it. Uh, but he, he, he soon saw um, his relationship with his son start to, uh, to grow a little distant. You know, his son dropped it out of high school last year. He encouraged him to re-enroll in school and, and, and not to focus about the parties, not to focus about, uh, you know, getting a job. He wanted to, his son to, to keep his head on straight and, uh, and, and really go back to school and, and do good things for him. Uh, unfortunately, the son, you know, seemed to, to like being with his friends, to like being at parties. And, and uh, it, it unfortunately led to, his, uh, to the incident um, this morning and uh, it led to, to tragedy.